Okay. Engineering Mathematics 1. First, let me tell you what are the topics covered in Engineering Mathematics 1. Matrices, Differential Calculus, Analytic Geometry, Functions of Several Variables and Multiple Integrals. So, in this, I am going to teach you the matrices. What is matrices? A rectangular arrangement of elements is called as matrices. It can be a 2 by 2 matrix or 3 by 3 matrix. Before I move on to matrices, I just want to tell you the basic definitions that is diagonal of a matrix and inverse of a matrix. Diagonal of a matrix. A square matrix in which all the elements except the diagonal elements are zeros is called the diagonal of a matrix. What is it? If suppose if you take a matrix A, A is equals to 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3. You can see in this, these are the diagonal elements. Except these diagonal elements, all the other elements are zeros. So, we call this as a diagonal of a matrix. Next, inverse of a matrix. What is inverse of a matrix? Inverse of a matrix. Suppose, let A be the given matrix. Let A be the given matrix. Then A inverse, the inverse of the matrix is defined by A inverse which is equals to adjoint of A by determinant of A. Adjoint of A by determinant of A. What is adjoint of A? It is the transpose of the cofactor matrix. So, these two are the important definitions which we are going to apply in the matrices. That is, the first thing, let me tell you what are the topics, subtopics in the matrices. First one, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Number two, Number 2, Calais-Hamilton theorem. Calais-Hamilton theorem. Number 3, diagonalization of a matrix. Diagonalization of the matrix. In this, the first topic that is eigenvalues and eigenvectors which I am going to teach you now. What is eigenvalues? What do you mean by that eigenvalues? The equation, the equation obtained by, the equation obtained by expanding the determinant expanding the determinant and equating to 0 expanding the determinant and equating to 0 so what do you mean by eigenvalues and eigenvectors so first thing the equation obtained by expanding the determinant and equating to zero so in this this is the formula that is determinant of a minus lambda i equal to zero is the formula what will be the a a is the given matrix and lambda is the scalar and i will be the unit matrix so, the unit matrix will be taken according to the given matrix. It can be a 2 by 2 matrix and 3 by 3 matrix. If suppose, if it is a 2 by 2 matrix, then the unit matrix will be 1, 0, 0, 1. If it is a 3 by 3 matrix, then the unit matrix will be i is equals to 1, 0, 0, 
zero one zero 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 one. So this is the eigenvalues characteristic equation. Before we move on to the eigenvalues, you should know how to find the characteristic equation, and then the roots of the characteristic equation will give you the eigenvalues. Let me show you through some example. So they will ask you, they will ask you the question, find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix A. So the first step, you need to find the characteristic equation and the roots. Suppose this is the question. Find the eigenvalues. Find the eigenvalues. and eigenvectors of the matrix of the matrix 3 2 1 4 if this is the matrix given what is it it is a 2 by 2 matrix if this is given and asked to find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors what did I tell you? First thing, you need to find the characteristic equation using the formula determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0. Determinant of a minus lambda i equals to 0. What is a? a will be the given matrix and lambda will be the scalar, i will be the unit matrix. Now, from this, first let me take, let a is equals to 3, 2, 1, 4 and what is lambda? Lambda is a scalar that is lambda i is equals to lambda 0, 0, lambda. As I told you earlier, if it is a 2 by 2 unit matrix then only the diagonal elements will be the unit 1 and the other elements will be 0. Now we need to substitute in this formula. What is that formula? A minus lambda i equal to 0. What is A? A is the given matrix that is 3, 2, 1, 4 and minus lambda i that is lambda 0, 0, lambda which is equals to 0. Now we need to simplify this and get the characteristic equation. How will you simplify it? 3 minus lambda, 2 minus 0 will give you 2, 1 minus 0 will give you 1, again 4 minus lambda will be written as it is. Now usually how will you find the determinant 3 minus lambda into 4 minus lambda minus of 2 into 1. So you need to cross multiply to find the determinant. How will you cross multiply? 3 minus lambda into 4 minus lambda minus 2 equal to 0. Now when you multiply this 3 into 4 which will give you 12 minus lambda into 4 will give you minus 4 lambda. Again 3 into minus lambda will give you minus 7 lambda. Minus lambda into minus lambda plus lambda square minus 2 equal to 0. So we say this is the characteristic equation. When you simplify this again you will get this as lambda square minus 7 lambda 12 minus 2 will give you 10 which is equals to 0 is the characteristic equation. Now to find the eigenvalues, we have got the characteristic equation. So how will you get the eigenvalues? When you solve this characteristic equation and get those roots, those roots will give you the eigenvalues. Let me tell you how will you get the roots. So this is the characteristic equation. Lambda square minus 7 lambda plus 10 equal to 0. How will you get the roots? Only when you factorize this. If this is the equation, you need to check what is the constant here. What is the constant? 10. 
what are the possible ways of multiplying 10 5 times 2 and 10 times 1 when you add this or subtract this you should get the middle value which one will you take so when you add these two you will get 7 lambda therefore we will take this as the roots so now split the roots lambda minus 5 into lambda minus 2 equal to 0 so this will give you lambda is equals to 2 comma 5 so these roots are called the eigenvalues or characteristic roots so we will call lambda is equals to 2 comma 5 are the eigenvalues So always to find the eigenvalues the first step you need to find the characteristic equation. After getting the characteristic equation when you solve it you will get the roots. Those roots are called as eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Now this is over. For, to find the eigenvalues we have found out this much. Now we need to find the eigenvectors. How many roots we have got? Two roots. Lambda is equals to 2 and 5. So, we need to find two cases. If suppose, if they have given 3 by 3 matrix, obviously we will be getting 3 roots. So, how many cases we need to find out for eigenvectors? 3 cases. That is, lambda is equal to, if suppose for example, lambda is equal to 1, 2, 5. So, 3 cases we need to find for the eigenvectors. Now, let me show you how to find the eigenvectors. Now, case 1, to find the eigenvectors, to find the eigenvectors, case 1. When lambda is equals to 2, what is the formula to find the eigenvector? a minus lambda i into x bar is equals to 0. This is the formula to find the eigenvector. a minus lambda i into x bar is equals to 0. We know already what is a minus lambda i. What is a? The given matrix and lambda is the scalar and i is the unit matrix. So directly I am going to substitute in this and according to the given matrix I am going to write the eigenvectors. So a minus lambda i means 3 minus lambda 2 1 4 minus lambda into x bar as I told you according to the given matrix we will take x bar that is x1 and x2. Suppose for example if it is a 3 by 3 matrix then we will take the x bar as x1, x2, x3. Now for this one only x1 and x2 which is equals to 0. Now look at the case when lambda is equals to 2 substitute this lambda value here and you will get the simplified matrix. What is that? Simplified matrix. When we substitute the lambda, you will get it as 3 minus 2 will give you 1 and here 2 you will write it as it is and again in the next row you will write 1 as it is and 4 minus 2 will give you 2 into x1 x2 which is equals to 0. Now you can look at this. Now in this matrix I am going to multiply that x bar. What is it? 1 into x1 plus 2 into x2. That is rows into columns. Rows into columns will give you two equations. 2 into x2 which is equals to 0. Now again the next row x1 plus 2 into x2. Now we have got two equations 1 and 2. I am going to solve these two equations and get the values for x1 and x2 that will give you the eigenvectors. Now what is the equation first and second? 
you can look at the equation both the equations are same so we cannot go by simultaneous equation I am going to do it by assumption method from 1 x1 plus x2 2x2 is equals to 0 from this I am going to write x1 is equals to minus 2x2 now shall I assume the value x2 as 1 when I assume it x2 as 1 assume x2 is equals to 1 then what will be the x1 value x1 is equals to minus 2 so we have got two values x1 and x2 therefore the eigenvector corresponding to the value therefore the eigenvector corresponding to the value lambda is equals to 2 is x1 value and x2 value that is minus 2 and 1 this is the eigenvector for the case 1 similarly we need to find the eigenvector for the case 2 what is the case 2 the case 2 value is when lambda is equals to 5 same way using the same formula a minus lambda i into x bar equals to 0 I am going to find the eigenvector for the next case that is 3 minus 5 which will give you minus 2 and here 2 1 and again 4 minus 5 will give you minus 5 and this one into x1 x2 which is equals to 0 as we did for the case 1 previous case the same way I am going to multiply rows into columns so this will give you 2 minus 2 x1 plus 2 x2 which is equals to 0 and x1 minus x2 is equals to 0 so from this this is 1, 2. So, from this I am going to pick any one of the equation. If I pick the second one, you should check among these two which one is the easier to way to solve the eigenvector. From this, I am going to take the second equation that is x1 minus x2 is equals to 0. I am going to rewrite this as x1 is equals to x2 because to assume the value for any one of the variable assume x1 is equals to 1 when I am assuming x1 is equals to 1 obviously x2 will also be 1 why is it because the equation is x1 is equals to x2 so similarly therefore you will get x2 is equals to 1 you can write down the eigenvector corresponding to lambda is equals to 5 is 1 and 1. So, this is how you need to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, you can look at this. What are the procedures? First thing you need to find the characteristic equation. The next you need to find the eigenvalues. How will you find the eigenvalues? When you solve it, when you factorize it, you will get those roots. Those roots will give you the eigenvalues. And finally, according to the roots, you need to find the eigenvectors. Now, how will you check whether this eigenvector is correct or not? You need to substitute this value in any one of the equation. Now, suppose for example, this is the eigenvector you got it for the value lambda is equals to 5 what is the eigenvector 1 and 1 these are the equations we have got it substitute in this when you take the second equation this is to check suppose if I am taking the second equation x1 minus x2 is equals to 0 when you substitute this 1 and 1 here 1 minus 1 which will give you 0 0 is equals to 0 hence 
it satisfies this equation so we call this eigen vector what we have done is correct so this is how you need to check the eigen vector for the corresponding eigen values so far we have done the matrix that is 2 by 2 matrix eigen values and eigen vectors now i am going to tell you for the 3 by 3 matrix same way for 3 by 3 matrix to find the characteristic equation this is the formula a minus lambda i equal to 0 we can also find by using the formula lambda q minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 is equal to 0 this is the formula to find the 3 by 3 matrix where S1 is equals to sum of the diagonal elements. S1 is equals to sum of the diagonal elements. S2 is equals to sum of the minors of the diagonal elements. sum of the minor of the diagonal elements. S3 is equals to determinant of A. So this is the easy method to find out the 3 by 3 matrix eigenvalues and eigenvectors. You can see lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 is equals to 0. So, what is S1, S2, S3? S1, sum of the diagonal elements. What is the sum of the diagonal elements? Whatever, suppose if they are giving you the matrix 1, 0, 2 and 3, 1, 4 and 1, 2, 3. What is the diagonal element here? 1, 1, 3. So, the sum will give you the S1. 1 plus 1 plus 3 which will give you 5. So S1 is equals to 5. You will substitute it here. Similarly, what is S2? Sum of the minors of the diagonal element. What do you mean by the minor? If it is a 3 by 3 matrix, you need to find the minor for each diagonal element. What are the diagonal elements? 1, 1, 3. When you take the first element, you have to leave the corresponding row and the column. This will give you the minor. And similarly, you need to find for all the diagonal elements. And determinant, you know how to find out. 1 into the cross multiplication of this. And again for the next and for the third element. This is what S1, S2 and S3. I will show it through example. Now, find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix 3 minus 1. 0 and similarly here minus 1, 2, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 3. If this is the 3 by 3 matrix, the same procedure which I am going to follow it now that is characteristic equation, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. First, characteristic equation. How we are supposed to find out characteristic equation? By using the formula lambda cube minus S1 lambda square minus S2 lambda minus S3 equal to 0. So, from this what is S1? 
sum of the diagonal elements. What are the diagonal elements here? 2, 3, 2, 3. That is 3 plus 2 plus 3 which will give you 8. Similarly, S2. What is S2? The sum of the minors of the diagonal element. When you are taking 3, first diagonal element as 3. Leave the corresponding row on the column. So, what is the left out numbers? 2, minus 1, minus 1, 3. 2, minus 1, minus 1, 3. Plus, what is the next diagonal element? 2. Same way, leave the corresponding column on the row. What is left out? 3, 0, 0, 3. What is the next last diagonal element? 3. Again you will leave the corresponding row on the column. What is left out? 3 minus 1 minus 1 2. Now when you simplify all these you will get some value. Those value we call it as S2. So when you simplify it what do you get? You can look at this. How will you simplify it? The determinant form?